Hi, this is the syllabus review for Math 182, Calculus 2. This is for sections 4001 and 4002. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, contact information and office hours, so on Jeffrey Downs. Email address is jeffrey.downs at wnc.edu. My home page there is really not updated. Um, I'm not even sure. They keep changing things to the college page, so I'm not sure where you'd find that if that actually works. Uh, but all the content I had on that would be in Canvas. Uh, my office is in Aspen 224. My office phone number is 775-445-4400. Office hours on Tuesday, Thursday, I'll be in the office 11 to 1230. Then on Wednesday, I'll do an online office hours from 11 to 1. So the online office hours would not necessarily be at campus or by appointment. Okay, prerequisite math 181 or equivalent or consider the instructor. I assume most people in my class are going to be from the math 181 section that I had last semester. So, um, of course, description offers fundamentals, concepts of analytical geometry and calculus, functions, graphs, limits, derivatives, and integrals. So, here are the course objectives. We're going to have some, a lot of fun with this. Especially when we do calculate uh, area of the region between two curves, that's pretty fun. That's really you know, the beginning that we do. A volume of a disk and shell method, really cool stuff. And then um, arc length, surface area. Yeah, so a lot of really good material this semester. Um, some regard this as one of the more challenging of the three. Do not discourage anyone, just be prepared. Um, I think the calculus one's hard because you're learning about derivatives and integrals. This one, we're applying it. We're going to be doing stuff with it. Then we get into series and sequences, and that's some other neat stuff. Okay, uh, credit for credit class transferability within Nevada. This course is designed to apply toward a WNC degree and or transfer to other schools within the Nevada system of higher education, depending on the degree chosen. Another course is completed. It may transfer to colleges and universities outside Nevada. For information about how this course can transfer and apply to your program of study, please contact a counselor. Linkage to the college mission provide instruction that contributes to students' ability to think critically and solve problems, to reason mathematically, and apply computational skills. So if you're in my class, or I think all the cla calculus classes we have at this college use the same textbook, so that shouldn't be a problem. If you're coming from another school, you may have to buy the textbook, or you can get the online access through WebAssign, and they have an ebook there. So here are some textbook options, and they usually at this point provide a, a course code for WebAssign. I'm trying to link it through Canvas, and so there wouldn't be a course code. But if that doesn't work out, then it'll uh, I'll have to send out a message with the course code. But we're really trying hard the other day to make this work. So um, we'll have something in Canvas, but it's not opening for me to that page like it should. Anyway, uh, moving on. Supplies text some kind, either an e-text or a regular book text. A TI graphing calculator is optional but encouraged. I really like the T89s. I know their calculators are more complicated than that, uh, more sophisticated, I should say, like the TI Inspire and Inspire Cast. Great calculators. I just still like the TI89. I think it's really the best thing that's probably been made out there. Um, and this is coming from an HP background. I really like the HP series. They like the 48 series. Okay, back to this. Grading scale, A, B, C, D, F, pretty standard there. Your breakdown, you're going to have a midterm, discussion points, homework, quizzes, final exam. So I want to point out here that half your your grade is the midterm and final together. Then you have quizzes, part of the grade, that's another 100 points out of 800, that's 12.75, no, sorry, 12.5%. Now, homework and discussions, these are the two things you have 100% control over. You can do those and get the full points. You just have to do them. Okay, exams will be a midterm and a final. Um, you may take online exam in Canvas or in Hawks. Unless you're a fast track or jump start student with school requiring proctored paper exams. So, online exams in Canvas are multiple choice and can be taken only once. Online exams through Hawks may be repeated to improve the grade, but they're not multiple choice, a short answer. Proctor paper exams would be administered by your TA and may only be taken once, but they can earn partial credit. There's your benefit right there. It's the partial credit. So it's not right or wrong. They're, if you were really close, you're going to get most of the points. 
Uh, there will be no makeup for missed exams. The due date for the midterm is April 12, 2018. Paper exams must be in my possession by that date. So paper exams are posted in Canvas. Now this is for the, the non-jumpstart and all. Uh, so if you choose to go paper still, um, they must be downloaded or printed by the student and be received back to me by that date. Um, they require the midterm and final exam to be scanned in a single PDF file and uploaded in Canvas. If you're unable to upload the exams or homework in the assignment upload, you may email them to me. But uh, through Canvas, I don't want to receive a bunch of emails outside of that. It's just It becomes really a challenge to find things so they don't come the way I'm asking for them. Uh, online exams. Exams are completed in Canvas or Enhanced Web Assign. So the exam must be completed by the end of the event. Uh, availability date. Paper, like I said before, paper exams receive partial credit can only be taken once. Online exams have received no no partial credit. Multiple choice version of Canvas in Canvas may only be taken one time. The short answer version of web assignment may be taken during the exam time to improve the score. It's retaken. If you try the uh, online exam and do not like the format, you switch. The, you may switch to paper. But again, jumpstart and fast track sections with regular class meetings and a TA or a similar person will have proctored exams. Uh, final exam, I don't have it written here, it's on the, the calendar page, and the final exam is due on May 15th, so just be aware of that. Um, hang on a second. There we go. Final exam. The final exam is due May 15th, 2018. Boom. Okay. Quizzes. There'll be 11 quizzes. The quizzes will be over the sections covered that week. Quizzes are worth 10 points each. The top 10 quizzes will count for the grade, so the lowest quiz gets dropped. Quizzes must be completed by the due date, no exceptions. Quizzes are completed in Canvas unless you are part of the fast track section that requires proctor quizzes. Discussions. You must provide at least 10 postings in the discussion board. The postings must be substantive and not simply say, I agree. You can either ask a question from our material or you can answer a question. Your first posting should be an introduction about yourself. Homework. You have two choices for homework in this class. You can either do the homework assigned, or homework online in WebAssign, or you can do homework assigned on the assignment sheet on paper. Homework counts for a total of 200 points. If you try the WebAssign and would prefer to go to the traditional homework, you may do so. Students choosing paper homework will scan it in PDF format in their homework. Um, Let's scan a piece of their homework and upload it in Canvas. Please send the homework, the work as a bundle of the entire chapter. I do not want sections. I want the whole thing. If you do not have access to a scanner, please contact me and we'll figure out another delivery system. I will not accept late homework. Attendance. Students are expected to participate and keep pace on a regular basis. Any departure from the attendance policy must be pre-approved by February 2nd, 2018. There will be no score of W issued by me in this class. In fact, the instructors can't issue a W. Um, if you feel the need to drop the class, you must do so by March 30th. 2018. Ethics statement. No cheating of any kind will be tolerated. Any student caught cheating, attempting to cheat, or assisting in the cheating of another student will be expelled from the class with a failing grade. Early alert. Please note that in an effort to help students successfully complete their courses, the counseling office on campus will ask faculty for names of students they feel may be in need of additional assistance. A counselor may contact you to offer some ideas. Grade appeals can be made to Gary Schwartz. There's his email address. The disability statement, Western Nevada College is committed to providing reasonable accommodations for all persons with disabilities. The syllabus is available in alternate formats upon request. Any student with a documented disability needing academic adjustments is require, requested to speak with Disability Support Services and the instructor as early in the semester as possible. All discussions will remain confidential. Please contact Disability Support Services, Carson Campus, Cedar 209. And there's a phone number and email address. Susan Trist is the director. Susan does travel to Fallon, the Fallon campus, and to Douglas upon so Fallon on a monthly basis, and Douglas upon request. List of important dates should be accurate here. And then here is our tentative schedule. I mean, should fit. It's online, so we should be able to make this schedule work. So um, just you have to keep up with this, and it's going to take time. So give yourself the time to do it. It's four credit class. That means. That's equivalent to four hours of instruction per week plus 
I say times 3 for your homework. So that's another 12 hours. So give yourself the time to do it. Do not think you're going to get this done in two hours a week or an hour a week. It's going to take time. Got to focus. Okay, um, look forward to the semester and let's get to it. Why don't you go ahead now and post your first discussion posting.